each state has different DNA uh, requirements for, for what sampling they do. Uh, in California, for instance, uh, as a result of this case, actually, uh, California now mandates that anyone arrested for a felony automatically surrenders the DNA sample. Not all states do that. Um, but all states do whatever DNA samples they have they submit to CODIS, which is the National DNA Database. So at this point, we've got the DNA profile, but no direct hit on the perpetrator. And so far, we haven't had a familial match either. And that's actually what we're hoping for, is that this perpetrator may have a brother, a son, somebody who uh, we can get a, a familial DNA hit and then connect the dots and trace back and figure out who he is. Thanks so much, Andy. Anybody else? Okay. What is the status of the database and the backlog? Anybody know? Honestly, I don't think any of us have that information. She's a corrections officer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but not in California. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have that, that, uh, that information. It's a good question. Anyone else? There's been a lot of suspects and persons of interest that have been looked at. Um, many DNA samples have been collected, and they just one by one getting ruled out. That's not my answer. Now, back in the 70s, when they were first investigating, one thing we didn't talk about was secretor status for this man, um, which I'm not going to go into a long scientific explanation about secretor status, but it was a way they could tell what blood type he was or was it he did not secrete something that they could use to determine. So they used that non-secretor status because not many people are non-secretor. He was, uh, but they ruled out a lot of people with that. If they were secreted, they were ruled out. He was not secreted. The problem was later they found out through science that there could be uh, false reads on some of those testings, which means they may have cleared suspects that, based on the secretor status, may have been ruled out incorrectly. So a lot of those suspects and people that they look at earlier are getting retested just for DNA. Now they don't care about blood type or that stuff. It's strictly DNA. Um, so they're asking for voluntary swabs or collecting DNA and other methods. But there are suspects and persons of interest that are getting pulled out one at a time. Great, thanks, Mike. We have time for one more. Uh, how do they tie? How do they tie you to the range of pulled out shootings of the young couple? Go for it. This is bothering me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't have specific information, but. Uh, we have one good authority from the law enforcement agencies in Valte. Uh, what's been interesting is the last several years, um, all of the departments that have uh, cases in this series are actually now getting to work together, uh, which, you know, everybody says, how come this case wasn't solved? How come they never caught him? How come he kept getting away? Uh, with this perpetrator, he worked in so many different areas that, you know, he get over here in uh, Sacramento, and then he hit in Concord or Stockton, and all these police departments in the 70s, no computers, no cell phones, they didn't talk to each other, so nobody knew. In recent years, these departments are all coming together, and uh, they're sharing information, and um, they now have what they call a working group. FBI is involved in all of the relevant departments. The working group has determined that the majority of uh, were, in fact, the work of this perpetrator based on MO, and I'm sure that they've got some kind of holdback evidence that, that is uh, more conclusive than they're telling us. Um, but, um, do you have more? That's good. That's the, the MO was always Oh, yes, and, so, and there were shoelaces found at the scene that were in the very similar to or maybe even identical to. Uh, she that were used in the East Area. Thank you so much, Debbie, and thank all of you for coming. Share on Facebook, Twitter, re repost um, anything about the Syrian killer to help get the word out. Thank you.